Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Little Nightmares. I'm really glad that when I resumed the game, it started me back uh, before I had taken the ride up to the top of the furnace. Because it lets me come back here and correct something. I didn't realize you could press this multiple times to cycle between the images and a bunch of folks in the comments point- Oh, that's it! Uh, folks in the comments point out that I could have done this. It is a video- it's a window or a video screen. Uh, before they just kind of looked like still images and that's six crossing, uh, the, the sea of shoes. That incredibly uncanny, eerie room full of discarded shoes. <laughs> Meant to grab the ladder. Uh, that should have- oh, I thought it was gonna put us in the middle of the room, but that's even a little bit better. We'll call that a speedrun strategy, <laughs> taking an intentional death uh, to move across the room faster. I mean, maybe that's a net zero time gain or time loss. I don't think we lost time. Okay, now we just... We're gonna fall and grip, fall and grip. Uh, and ride this back up and see... What this was all for. And we're gonna leave our gnome friends behind. With how dramatic this zoom out is... And how much work we put into solving this, I have to imagine that we're coming out, uh, we're coming up on the end of this DLC. Plus, if they're all about the same length, I've been at this for about as long as I was in the depths. I'm wondering how we're gonna resolve everything with the janitor, though. So more discarded shoes, which kind of gives me chills. Just purely because of the implication. It also got quiet again, which is a little unnerving. Yeah, I can't move this on my own, so... Ah, oh, there you are. Oh. Oh! Literally coming out of the woodwork. I don't need to help them, they'll just... And I don't need to hug them. Oh my god. Aww. That's so wholesome. Whoa. It's like a little refugee camp. This is where they live. And more of the drawings. This creepy doll. Wait! <gasps> they cast human shadows! They cast the shadows of kids! Yeah, I was right. Oh my god, that makes this so much sadder. Oh my god! That makes what Six did, or is going to do in the end of the base game, even more horrible. It was already sad. But then it's... Oh! Yeah, what Six did was cannibalism. Oh. 
Holy shit. Oh, that was good. The transition from this DLC to the next one isn't as good as uh, the one from the depths to the hideaway. That's why it's called a hideaway. It's literally where the gnomes... The kids who were turned into gnomes hid. And then this is going to bring us to the residence. And once again, confronting the lady. So does that mean that the lady is the one turning them into the gnomes? Is that the connection we're supposed to make? Yeah. <gasps> Holy shit. Wow. Oh. It's gotten a little bit sinister again. Oh, and carpet and creaky wooden floorboards. That's the lady without a mask. Huh. Nothing to be done there. We're leaving really noticeable impressions on the floor. Huh. it up here? That doesn't look climbable. I'll try anyway. No, I don't think so. It was hard to tell because the light went out, but... Oh, I can't scroll the camera right, so... Yeah. How do I cross this without alerting her? The only carpet is the one she's standing on. Also, I see a key on the throw pillow. Wait, is that the key that Six picks up? Yes, so. Okay, no, I don't want to do that. Huh. Oh, shit. This is huge. Okay. Oh. All right, let's sweep this floor by floor. Cool, this seems like it's going to be one big overarching puzzle going on here. There's a locked door here. And a statue with a broken face, which fits the motif of the lady. Uh, and the broken mirrors and... You know, the photos that are... with the faces scratched up. Or not the photos, the paintings. But... The ones here are intact. The paintings, that is. Interesting. And this one, this face is intact, too. But I can already tell what's going to happen. We're going to pick this up. Surprised it didn't just turn us to stone. I think we're going to have to Raiders of the Lost Ark that. With the statue from the other room down below. But we have to find a way up onto the pedestal, I guess. Uh, that the balcony is going to block me, so I wonder if I can push the ladder to the side, because I think I see wheels? Yeah. Okay, that's how we're going to get up to the third floor. But we're still not done with the second floor. 
I really expected this to start off with something more like overtly threatening, but this is cool. And another one of these. Um, this looks like it's set up to be climbed. Most certainly is, but why? Hmm, that book at the top of the shelf seems like it is glowing. Is there anything else? Like, somewhere I can put a book? To open up some kind of secret compartment or chamber? I don't like how silent it got all of a sudden, and I can hear something deep in the background. Something rhythmic? Did I just come up here for that one book? Huh. I'm having to strain to hear it. Kind of disconcerting. Okay, so what was this for? Ah, uh, not sure. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I wonder if the if the reason we can climb those stack books is to give us the idea. Yeah, to stack books up and climb them. Because there is no banister there. Which would make it easy to toss a bunch of books over the side to get them into that room. This is a different rhythmic sound from the clock. Oh, that's bothering me. That this is different from the sound that I heard before. And we also have the faint music box from the, the room to the left. Alright, what are you? I see some eyes. Oh, it's a light puzzle! Okay, then what do you do? There's a door left and a door right. But the door on the left uh, has a padlock. Oh, this is stuck. How do I get you unstuck? Oh! Man, this is just a cool little puzzle room. Really, really nifty. Okay, why would we need this? Unless it's to transport something Ooh, that we'll get in one of the rooms. Okay. Oh, I get it. When I pull the lever, it changes which access. Uh, access? No, that is not the word. Axis. Yeah, okay. I get this now. It changes the axis of, uh, the light that I am turning when I hit the button. This should do it. Cool. I just had to fiddle with that for a minute or two. But that didn't- Oh, okay! I was gonna say, that didn't do shit. But fourth eye and a fourth source of light. That fourth source being the flashlight. Okay. Ooh! Shit, fuck this. Gee. Ooh, I really feel like one of these is gonna come to life. 
or just be the lady. I hate this. Ugh. Oh. Holy shit. These are just all different guests or enemies we've encountered. Uh, I see gnomes. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> How good is my memory of those photos? You definitely. I'm going to take a stab at this. And I'm almost certainly going to be wrong about which ones I remember. Uh, but we're just going to take a stab and see. And then I'll go back to the room and actually try to memorize which ones were present and which ones aren't. That's interesting. I think that means that I had four of them right. Okay, so I think that's going to do it for now. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one.